Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at a pretty serious boroscope camera and it's made by a company called Teslon, professional manufacturer of inspection cameras. So this is quite a serious tool for the right job and almost any kind of industry, plumbing, automotive, construction. So in this video, we're going to open it up, go through all the features and see if this boroscope is right for you. So let's get started. guys so let's take a closer look at this thing so it comes in this case which is protected it's like a hard case and it does lock in and you can actually put a lock around it so you know it's not easy to open for safety and security all right so let's see what this thing looks like all right guys so this is a handheld device as we can see here and we do have a screen here also but looking at this case here we can see that it's padded very nicely for the scope so here it looks like we have the user manual, very nicely pictured. It looks like it explains to detail and has a few different languages there, so very cool. Alright, so let's grab the scope here. Wow, this thing is really nice. This thing definitely feels professional, just holding it in your hand. Very cool, so it looks like we have a speaker back there. We got metal, kind of grills there for something. It looks like a flashlight here in the front. This is where our cable camera will connect. So going to the other side, we have looks like some kind of button so you can bring it down where I guess the screen is more tilted. So we do have a button here and that does look like the flashlight button. It turns it on and off. So I guess if you're in a dark area and you need light, you have a flashlight. Very cool. So as we go down the handle here, we can see that we can put a little strap to hold the scope. And at the very bottom here, it looks like this is where our rechargeable battery lives. And it looks like you can change that if you ever needed to. A very nice looking and feeling scope, guys. All right, so we do have a few more things here. We have the USB to micro USB charger cable. And also it looks like we have some accessories here. Let's check it out. So we do have a magnet attachment. So if you needed to, you know, pull something out that's magnetic and a hook attachment also this is quite useful also if you want to pull something out like you know keys or whatever else is a very handy little tool and by the way guys these are both metal so this is a high quality accessories here and so these accessories would go on the end here of the cable where the camera is and the way you put the accessories on is you first have to unscrew a little cover here that covers the threads and then you can put on the accessory and that screws on really nice and tight you know you're not going to lose it if you're starting to pull something very cool all right so i'm going to put the cover back on so this cover is made to protect the threads so something else that's pretty unique about this camera here is that there's actually two cameras looks like so there appears to be a really tiny little camera right there that looks 90 degrees down and it has its own little light there and then you got the main camera up front so that's pretty useful because when you're going in a pipe sometimes you want to look down or in a close space and this becomes very useful to do that because I'm sure that you'll be able to switch between the two cameras just from the controller here so this kit here comes with cable here which is about five meters I guess or it's five meters which is about 16 feet I guess so it's quite long and you guys can see that the cable sits where you put it put it like that it just sits so it's rigid enough to hold itself but it's you know bendy enough to bend where you need it so it seems like the perfect amount of tension on the cable here and this should be completely waterproof so we should be able to go underwater if we needed to and actually that's what we're going to do because we do have a pool here so we're going to go into a pipe and check those out and see how they're looking so at the end of the cable looks like we have some kind of button here and this is our connector to the controller here so yeah guys looks like a pretty straightforward hardware so now we need to power this thing on and check out the software but before we do that i did notice that there is a little door here on the side that pops open and it looks like we have our micro sd card and a charging port there and it did come with this sd card here that looks like to be a 16 gb micro sd card very cool put that back in 
close the lid and also guys there's a reset button right there underneath so this looks like this might be a microphone and then we also have a speaker so there's a possibility that we might be able to record a video with this thing all right so let's go ahead and peel the screen protector so this is what our screen looks like it's a very large screen we have the navigation buttons here it looks like we have the power button some light button looks like a photo button then okay then looks like a settings button here in mode and up and down so before we power on the device we need to go ahead and hook up our cable to it and so the cable has a little slit on top here and you can see that goes to the top so this button is actually another indicator which is top and bottom so that is the top so we should be able to just slide right in and then we can lock it with this locking washer here so now that we're connected let's go ahead and turn it on we got the logo there and there it goes the camera is on so it's quite bright outside right now so it's a little bit harder to see but the quality of the screen looks very nice all right so let's see what these buttons do so we got a light button here so the light button on top of the power button actually turns on the lights on the camera there in the front so you got low medium and then high Sorry for all the glare, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and click this camera button. See what happens. All right, so we made a photo. It says photo successful. When the camera is on, if you click the up and down, it rotates the uh, screen. So you can see right side up, I guess. All right, so let's click the mode button. All right, so the mode actually changes it to video mode. So I bet now if we push this, we can start making a video. Okay, yeah, so we started a video. You can see there on the top, it's recording right now. So it's looking at some trees from really far away, so they're probably going to be blurry. Let's hit mode one more time. Okay, and so that kind of uh, previews the files that you've made. Very cool. And it shows you on the bottom there if it's a photo or a video. Pretty awesome. And then we have the settings button here. So we got resolution, and you can choose between 720 or 1080. I guess let's go to 1080. Okay. Timestamp if you wanted that. Put in the time, choose the language, which they have looks like English and well they do have a bunch of other ones. Look at that. They have quite a few of them. Alright. You can format the SD card and then reset the whole system. And there we just have a version of it. Very cool. So very easy to use guys and pretty straightforward. So there's one more thing left to try. There is a button here on the top, and I think this button switches the cameras between the front and the 90 degree angle so let's go ahead and click it and look at that it did change the camera so now it's looking 90 degrees and if we hit our light button here that also controls the little light behind it well, look at that and that also has the three settings very cool so if I switch back to the other camera you know, now I can control the lighting for that camera switch to the other one and back to the other one all right well that's pretty awesome so I guess the only thing left to do is let's uh, stick this thing in the pipe and uh, see what we can see. All right, guys, so I got the inspection camera. So what we're going to do is there is a hole right there that I don't really know where it goes to. So we're going to go check it out with the scope. And I'm going to record it here on the scope itself. And I'm going to show you guys the actual footage from the scope. Video recording mode. So then we're going to push record. And now we're going to switch to the scope. So you guys should be seeing the pool now. So I'm not sure if this thing has audio. If it does, you will be hearing the audio from the scope also. Start feeding the scope into that hole there. So we're going to be going into the water. There we go. So we're in the water. And now we're in the pipe. So I don't know exactly what that is. All right, that's pretty cool. This could be something interesting here to look at. Let's go ahead and try this. We definitely got some kind of buildup in there and some dirt for sure. Kind of hard to see. Maybe just turn on the light. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting somewhere now. So I'm going to keep pushing it in there. Oh, this is definitely a lot more interesting than the last pipe. I got probably a couple of feet in there already, maybe more. Looks like it's sticking to one side of the pipe. And we're getting deep, guys. Kind of make me nervous now. Okay, so we got some kind of buildup. Looks like it's hard to see because I can't really control the where the camera goes now. But we're definitely about four to five feet in there. So let's see if we can switch to our 90 degree camera. Okay, can't really see nothing there. 
go back. <laughs> Try to go a little deeper. See what happens. <laughs> okay, so I think we just got a lot of gump in there now. Yeah, we're hitting some kind of dirt. All right, so that looks like dead end for us there, guys. All right, so I'm going to pull out the whole way. So yeah, that was like five feet. Not too bad, not too bad. All right guys, well hopefully you were able to see something there as we were going through the pipes. And we went completely underwater, so this thing is definitely waterproof and there's no issue with that. So I was quite surprised of how easy it is to control it. Like everything is very intuitive in the screen. And the screen is quite bright. It's just we're out here in the uh, sunlight. So I apologize if it was a little hard to see, but the screen is an excellent quality and very bright. So overall, this is a really, really nice tool. If you ever needed to see something that you cannot just get to, this thing is great. So they do have a version that, that the cable is not this long, which might be a little bit more convenient if you don't need this kind of reach, because I do find it having this much cable is a little harder to manage. So now you might be able to get just another cable and then you could have a longer one and a shorter one. So, but in any case, this is a pretty awesome tool. And the cool parts about it is because it has its own screen, you don't have to connect it to your phone and whatnot else and it charges itself so you don't have to you know change battery so this thing is self-sufficient and not only that it can also record video and also photos to the micro SD card so it has all the features that you need and want all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this review of the Tesla inspection camera if you want to pick up one for yourself I'll have some links in the description check those out it's from Amazon and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this I do a lot of reviews and and other interesting things on this channel and if you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button to see more and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace